Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, February the 1st. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany and week four in the Psalm Cycle. And thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. Psalm 72, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son, and your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness, and your ruler shall judge the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy and shall break the oppressor into pieces. And your ruler shall live as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. Your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days the righteous shall flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. Your ruler shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts. The rulers of Sheba and Seba shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler. All nations shall serve him. For your ruler shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. Your ruler shall spare the poor and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba, and prayer shall be made for him continually. Daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth, upon the top of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. And your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. All people shall be blessed in him, and all nations shall call your ruler blessed. Blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things. And blessed be God's glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Amen and amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give your ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. The prophet Isaiah, chapter 54, beginning at verse 1. Shout for joy, O barren one, who has borne no children. Burst into song and shout, you who have not been in labor. For the children of the desolate woman will be more than the children of the one who is married, says the Most High. Enlarge the sight of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left, and your descendants will possess nations and will settle desolate towns. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace. <clears throat> for you will forget the shame of your youth, and the disgrace of your widowhood you will remember no more. For your maker is your husband. Yahweh of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Most High has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, like the wife of a man's youth when she is cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great compassion I will gather you. In overflowing wrath for a moment I hid my face from you. But with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you, says the Most High, your Redeemer. 
This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Most High, who has compassion on you. Here ends the lesson. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our days. Soften our hearts that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.